Lord, today I want to lift up my husband and I want to lift up my marriage. Because regardless of what season we're in right now, I know that marriage as a whole is under attack. It's under attack by our culture. And honestly, it's under attack or at least belittled even within the professing church today. And I don't want to be guilty of that. Lord, I want you to forgive me. Forgive me for all the ways that I have not been and maybe I'm not currently being the godly wife that you desire me to be. I pray that you do convict me, that you show me where I am not serving my husband and loving him as you have called me to do. And I know that this can stir up so many past hurts and difficulties and and problems, all those innermost things that we want to most honestly just avoid and ignore. But I know that true love that we are called to have, it it does not keep a record of wrongs. It, It doesn't hold those things against someone. It is forgiving and merciful. I want that love and forgiveness from you and I know I need to show that as well. Lord, I know that my marriage, my husband, should be my number one human relationship. And I ask for your conviction if that is not true in my life. Is there someone else that I really do hold in that spot? Be it my children, a friend, a family member, technology, a substance, an escape, or whatever it may be, Lord, I want my husband to be my number one human relationship. Lord, I thank you for all the ways throughout our marriage that you have been there, that you are walking right alongside of us in the times that we were messing it up and in the times that you were healing and blessing it. Lord, I just ask that this week throughout our studies, our conversations, and really just examining my own heart and my own actions, my own words, and saying, how am I treating my husband? Is it a love that he feels? What are the areas that need work? Lord, may you give me the encouragement and open his heart so that we can have these conversations, so that I can know how he feels and where he isn't feeling loved and where he could use a godly wife. Lord, for all of the unbelieving husbands out there, I pray that as scripture promises that by our conduct of Christ loving women, that we can truly, without speaking a word, bring an unbelieving spouse to your saving truth. That's so powerful. That's so amazing. And Lord, I pray for my daughters. I pray for my son. And I pray for all the young women and young men out there, Lord, that they will see what true marriage is, what your design is, and how beautiful and complete and wonderful that it is. This world today is so hostile against marriage, and I know that that is the culture in which my children are going to grow up into. And Lord, I pray that we can start at home making radical changes of what marriage means, what a blessing a spouse is, what a godly marriage looks like. And I pray that by modeling this at home and living this out for our children and showing them in the good and the bad how we trust in you for this, that that will affect them and generations to come. Lord, I thank you for my husband. And I just lift him up in prayer in whatever it is that he's facing this week through his work, through his health, through his struggles, in his heart issues. Lord, that you will be there and you will work in his life and you will just continue to pursue him and grow him in your will and your ways. And Lord, I pray that I will be right there alongside of him, lifting him up and supporting him, loving him and encouraging him, in all the ways that he needs from me in the humbling and honorable role that it is to be a godly wife. I 
thank you for marriage, Lord, and I thank you for my marriage and my husband and my family, Lord, and for all the beautiful, loving marriages around us. All of us that are imperfect, that know that it's not about our perfection, but yours. And it's all in the journey. It's all in the adventure. And we trust you for our happy endings. In Christ's name, we all pray. Amen. If you haven't joined us already, please come and do so as we spend our fifth year in a row studying through biblical womanhood, looking at what it means to truly walk in faith and be a grace-energized woman. When we profess to be a follower of Jesus, we absolutely deserve the honor and blessing to walk as a biblical woman. Everything is linked down in the description box below. I can't wait to see you over there.